little bit and her twins from yesterday. It was so mild, I just left her out for the night. Leave her be. Out. Good girl. One, where are your twi th triplets? Two, oh, and there's three, all the way back there. Clever girl. And you still have plenty of hay and water. Now, wait a minute, a little bit of confusion here. You belong that way. That's your mama. And you, this is the triplet lamb that I had to bottle um, tube feed yesterday. Who wasn't doing very well. There you go. Doing much better. So she's there. And then a little bit. Can you move your baby away? Come on. Now you're not to abandon your boy child over there. Let me move you away from everybody else with your lamb. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. So I want to keep an eye on her because of that ram lamb that I had to tube feed yesterday. 
I want to keep an eye on her because she's got triplets. The only one that I don't really need to keep an eye on is Little Bit, so I'm going to move her up to the paddock with all the other... Oh, somebody's arrived. I'm going to move her up to the paddock after I see whoever it is. These guys are doing well, though. Well, I didn't think you were in lamb, Crystal. And you've had a beautiful baby. Look at that. A beautiful baby. You had a boy or a girl. Oh, you're huge. Oh, you're a big boy. But you're a handsome fella. Yes. Well done, you. All on your own and me thinking you weren't going to have a lamb. And then, if we go back here, we have another yo that had a baby. Now, your mama cleaned you so well, she took your tail off. This is what sometimes you, happens with an over anxious mother. She literally has eaten the lamb's tail. You can see the tail is chewed right to the bottom of the bone. It's a very awkward, big single lamb. Okay, I will leave you to your lamb. I will have to bring it in. Oops, something else is wrong with the lamb as well. It's got bottle jaw. Oh yeah. Oh no, you probably came out head first. So you've got a swollen head, which makes you unbalanced. Okay. Anyway, two more singles. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone. Well done, Crystal. Good girl. You did, you found your own nesting site as well. Clever crystal. Clever girl. Feeding yos and hoggets that either their lambs died or I thought weren't in lamb. I discover my rams were much more fertile than I gave them credit for. So far, four yos have given birth that I didn't think were in lamb. You clever girl. I'd say you're gonna have another one. You're that big. You did a good job. I'll come back and get you when you're done because I don't want to move you. But she's got a beautiful location sheltered in this kind of glen. Look at that. Beautiful sheltered glen. Oop. You're walking with your lamb now to go to have breakfast. Yeah, you're just born. You hang out here. I'll get you food later. No, nope, she's not. She's taking her lamb with her. Well, it's closer to the gate for me then. I was heading over to look at... Uh, the fencing job that was done. She's now taking the lamb to go and have breakfast with her flock compatriots. Okay, I better go look at the fencing job, how it's going in the woodlands. Well, finally, not an easy job to do, and it is now done. A fence line 
that'll fence the woodland so that the sheep can help increase biodiversity. The tree is chopped. These were dead. They were dead ash tree or a dead spruce or larch. And these were taken off the edge so that the line could be as close to the laneway as possible. There will be, there's a distance between the lane and that, but that can't be helped. That's my cousin's land. That's his woods over there. Our wood is on this side. So we have plenty of firewood for the next few years. For the next more than a few years, a lot of years, because there's cut timber all the way along. Anyway, I can now bring the big dogs into the woods because they can't get through the fence. There's a few places where there's holes in the bottom and we'll have to put stones in those. Not right here, in another location. There's along here that are very wet, foggy. Look at that, very wet, foggy. But that adds to the biodiversity. And there's the stone wall and the road on the other side. And here's all my firewood. I'll leave the piles of branches for hedgehogs and insect life. But we have a nice little alleyway along here. Look at all that lovely timber. Easily diced up for firewood. So, yeah, very pleased. There's gonna be two strands of barbed wire across the top of this. That's to prevent people, that's to prevent sheep from getting out, jumping out, and people from getting in. Hopefully I'm not gonna be picking up rubbish here all the time. At least that's the hope but it's looking good. There's some big stumps from old trees that died. Look at that big old beech tree. Had to come out. And loads of timber, loads of firewood and bluebells. Look at that, lovely bluebells. White ones, blue ones and mauve ones. There's a move one right here. Look. There you go. A move bluebell. Hey girls. Let's see if she's had her second lamb. Well, you still have one. You brought it into the middle of the nettles. So you only have one so far. I'll leave you to it. She's an experienced yo. So she'll be able to if she's given birth to one, I'm sure the second one will follow easily. Put it this way, fingers crossed. The only problem lambs I had this year with were inexperienced yos. But she's very lucky. She's got this beautiful glen to have her lamb in. Look at all the holly trees. I've been encouraging all these holly trees for years. Uh. Checking in on us. There you go.
You represent the wolf, don't you? Right in the middle of a nettle patch. See you later, Missy. Let's see, do you have a boy or a girl? It's a sweet little one. Oh dear, come here. Yeah. Oh, you're a lovely yo lamb. Okay, I'll leave you by, by B. Because I have a feeling, like suspicion, you're going to have a second one. Come on, Brindle. Come on. Come on, pup. Good girl. Good girl. A misty day. Okay, I guess you're not going to have any more babies. Just this one big one. Hmm? Oh, this one big yo. there. I've got to get everybody else out. Go on. Out. Go on. Out. Go on. Out. No. Go on. Leave it. You guys are out. Yeah, you're not coming in. No, no, you're not coming out this way. Come on, girls. Yeah. Come on, girls. How are you, sweetie? Yeah.
Come on, babies. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on, babies. Inca, get out of the way. Eight. Good girl. This apparatus was to block a foxhole. That yo over there. Oh no, there are her lambs. I thought she'd have left her lambs alone. Yeah, these two are looking for their mommy. Yeah, their mommy is the one, is the hoggett who had them in the field of yos that weren't supposed to be in lamb. They'll find them eventually. Okay, 
Here is Stubby Tail. Well, that's Stubby Tail's mama. Stubby Tail is doing so much better. Let me see Stubby Tail. Can you, we see Stubby Tail? Look, Stubby Tail is standing up, nursing, but still has like no tail. And is still wonky, but is so much better. And you were having a, a <laughs> What are you suggesting as a name, Susan? Mudskin. <laughs> oh, poor lamb. It's a lamb I won't be able to sell, so it's probably going to have to be here for life. Yeah. Because its tail was munched by its mother. And I say call it Munchkin. I mean, I, Susanna knows I've been really concerned about this little one for his, her own sake, but also my dog Shep had an incident where he has ended up with a very stubby tail as well. So like, you know, I just, I feel a bond with her. And I say Munchkin with a lot of love. A lot of love and a lot of humor. As well. Black, as well as. black humor. It is you black humor, but you need it during lambing time because we've had quite a few traumatic deaths. Uh, not just Ebony, um, but anyway, you know, there's been, there's been there's a been few. There's been more than enough. There's been more than enough for one lambing season. Now, why are you eating? Look, she's eating crystals. And, oh, by the way, yeah, crystal is over here. You're eating crystals, hay. This is crystal. And this is crystal's lamb, who's doing very well. And if I'm keeping crystal in to keep Munchkin's mother company, because she's a very nervy yo. But Munch, Munchkin is terribly, is really much better. Still wonky and huge. But um, definitely uh, stubby-tailed. Stubby Munchkin. Munchkin Stubby. <laughs> Munchkin. Well, this is the year of M, so Munchkin it'll have to be. <laughs> and nursing very well with a very good mama. Good mama. 